People with significant others who talk in their sleep, what is the creepiest thing they've said? Story 1. I've told this on here before, but my husband is out of control with his sleep talking. You almost can't call it sleep talking because you could swear this mother effer knows exactly what he's doing. It isn't just talking. He gets up out of bed, will literally be walking around the house doing things like he's totally aware. Could hold a full conversation with you. It takes a minute to realize whether he's awake or not. He's so sure of himself. So probably the scariest thing was one night we're knocked out. It has to be like 3 a.m. and his big A bolts out of bed like I've never seen in my life, waking me up and frantically yelling, We have to go now! We have to get out of here! Follow me! Hurry up! I literally go into full panic mode and start trying to grab things and get my dog all while asking him what the F is going on, but he's so serious about this that I just trust that there must be something bad happening. Within a minute or so I noticed that as frantic as he was walking around, he wasn't really doing anything, just kind of going in circles. At that point it clicked that he wasn't really awake. I had been woken up from a dead sleep too, obviously. So I started saying his name over and over and telling him it was okay, and he kind of just snapped out of it and was like, oh, sorry about that. Definitely was freaked the F out for a minute there. I remember one night I was on a school trip. We were visiting a shipyard in the fifth or sixth grade. We were all sleeping in bunks at the prow bow of the ship, stacked three high. One of the kids was known for having night terrors as they happened at other sleepovers and such out of school. I'm a notorious insomniac, so naturally I was up with another bunk mate of mine and we were playing cards. This kid was on the third bunk up and all of a sudden leaped off. These bunks are three high, you have to climb down. This kid jumps like eight feet, lands like a cat, and bolts for the bathroom. One of the teachers woke up and saw this and got up to make sure he was okay. The kid was dead asleep the whole time and once properly awakened, apologized and climbed back into bed. Was wild to see. Sleepwalking was one of those things that I was weirdly worried about as a child. I was like, oh no, what if I sleepwalk into the street and get hit by a car? Thankfully, I've never had to deal with that. Only the rare bouts of sleep paralysis, which I guess is like the opposite problem? Story two, I'm the sleep talker, but the best I've ever been told about was, no, none of them have heads. My husband sleep talks, and my favorite was when he told me to close a ticket. He was an IT manager, and I told him I didn't work for him. Then he yelled at me to get it done. I said, you're a mean boss, and went back to sleep. <laughs> I've got so many and should write them down, but I'm so used to it by now. And I'm not the sleep talker, but I once woke myself and him up by yelling, the power of Christ compels you. I had been having a very vivid nightmare about seeing a black entity floating in our bedroom by the bathroom door. In my dream, I woke my husband up and we turned the lights on, chasing it down the hallway because we didn't want whatever it was to hurt our daughter. As we were chasing it away, I was yelling, THE POWER OF CHRIST COMPELS YOU, and I woke up screaming it. Thing is that I'm not particularly religious, and that's not really something I would say at all. It was so bizarre. I've only had a dream that was realistic a couple times in my life. Story 3. Not so much creepy as it is odd, but I overheard my wife accurately recite my social security number aloud whilst sleeping. When I told her about it the next morning, she said I had to have been making that up and she definitely does not know my social security number. I didn't believe her and made me swear to me and on our marriage that she wasn't lying and she said that if someone was pointing a gun to my head and that he would pull the trigger unless she accurately recited my social security number, she'd tell me she loved me and that she'd remember me fondly once I died. It was the oddest thing. I think it's possible that she may have seen the numbers briefly at one point but doesn't consciously remember them. We supposedly dream with faces of people we've seen in our lives even if they were random strangers we've passed by in the street and never given a second thought to. So maybe it's registered in her subconscious but not her conscious memory. Story 4. My girlfriend, now wife, and I were sleeping in my bed in college. Due to not being able to control the temperature in my room, which was kept at a tropical 105 degrees despite it being a brutal winter, we always slept with the window open and my bedroom door cracked for circulation. I also lived in the ground floor apartment of a brownstone in Boston. In the dead middle of the night, she starts smacking me. Girlfriend. Babe. Babe. I startle awake. What? Girlfriend. There's someone standing in the doorway. <laughs> Adrenaline starts pumping. I prepare to fight the intruder. I quickly scan the room for something to make an impromptu weapon out of. Finally, my eyes adjust to the dark. I'm fully awake and I see that no one is actually there. Me. No, there isn't. You're sleeping. Girlfriend. <laughs> 
She had zero recollection of the entire incident the next morning. I had to recount to her how she almost made me crap my pants in the middle of the night. <laughs> the laugh at the end makes me think that your girlfriend's subconscious is a bit of a prankster, and frankly, that makes me really appreciate her. Here's hoping that she keeps stuff like that up, because that's hilarious. Story 5. I honestly started keeping track of the weirder things slash conversations we've had that she remembers nothing of. November 25th. She wakes up. So, fish sticks? Clear and loud. Me. Fish sticks? What do you mean? Significant other. Are you making fish sticks? Me. Yes, I'm making fish sticks. Significant other. Okay. Goes back to sleep. Sleeping wife. Why is the dog barking? Me. We don't have a dog. Wife. Yes, we do, and he's in the kitchen barking. Me. Okay. Wife. Go see why he's barking. Me, after a little more argument about whether or not we have a dog, walks to the kitchen and back to the bedroom. Wife. Where did you go? I went to the kitchen to check on the dog. Wife. But we don't have a dog. This is like my girlfriend. She'll wake up and say something totally nonsensical, like, Don't trust the toast people. I'll be like, Oh yeah? And who are they? You know, the toast people. The who? Getting annoyed. The toast. Realizes she's been dreaming. Oh, never mind. Story 6. I posted this in a similar thread months ago, but it's relevant. Same house, same bedroom, different women, five years apart. First woman, we're asleep in bed and she takes this huge deep breath that wakes me up. Then she says, they are here now and want to speak to you. I'm going to let them use me. So of course, I wake her up violently like, what the F? All she can tell me is that she saw several shadowy people in her dream who told her that they had a message for me but needed her to talk to me. Okay. Second woman, we're asleep together and the same things happen. Deep, long breath that wakes me up except this time she screams, There are people in this room with us! I got her to calm down by assuring her that we were alone. She never sleeps over again. I sold the house. LOL. <laughs> Joke's on you, the shadow people were gonna tell you about the yet-to-occur surge in real estate prices and to hold off on selling it for a few years. You would've made bank, but no, you just couldn't let them speak. Story 7. My fiancé is super active while sleeping. It used to bother me, but now I'm used to it. One time I asked her to give me her pillow while she was sleeping, and she said, okay, and then pulled it out from under her head and threw it at me. She slept the rest of the night without a pillow and was quite peed when she woke without a pillow and after I told her what she did. My significant other frequently moves around the pillow and the covers when she's asleep, often resulting in her not having a pillow and not letting me put one under her. The first time she did it, she called me a snake for stealing the pillows. I'm still not sure if she fully believes that it's not me. Story 8. I was rearranging my pillow nest in the middle of the night and he must have felt threatened. Whoa, 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 no, whoa, put these down, whoa, whoa, please, no. Some other delightful experiences. Him, barks loudly like an aggressive, ferocious dog. Me, wakes up completely due to mini heart attack and screams. Him, whines softly like a chastised dog. Me, it's okay, go back to sleep. Him, mm. me, falling back asleep. Him, no, you go back to sleep. Me, just lie down. Him goes from a 90 degree angle to a 45 degree angle and his sleeping self pretends to be asleep and in doing so achieves true metastatus. Me. I know you're not lying down properly. Him. Yes, I am. Me. Okay, whatever. I don't know what is up with these sassy sleep talkers, but I am loving it. I wish my partner was a sassy brat in her sleep. Sadly, the only sass I get is when I wake her up with my snoring. Story 9. Not my significant other, but still kind of funny, but very scary at the time. So, little me had a nightmare and went to my parents' room to tell my mom and get a cuddle so I could go back to sleep. I knocked on the door and opened it very quietly so only mom woke and not my dad, since mom is a very light sleeper and dad a heavy one. I get in and at the moment, dad jumps out of bed and shouts, I do not want to see you here again! I fled up the stairs and cried and mom followed me and told me she didn't know what happened either. Dad says he doesn't remember it, but I sure do. Story 10. Soft, creepy laughter and then immediately propping up at a 90 degree angle saying, It's all part of the show. Then going back to sleep. I was laughing at something in a dream once and it creeped out my girlfriend, so she shook me and asked why I was laughing. I answered, the purple people as I was waking up, which freaked her out more. 
The dream had people with weird skin colors and clothes, and in the moment, nothing in the world was funnier to me than a purple man in a turquoise suit standing next to a turquoise man in a purple suit. I had trouble explaining that while I was conscious. Story 11. Woke up to go to the bathroom one night. As I moved to get out, my boyfriend goes, Don't go out there. Thinking he's awake and joking with me, I go, Oh yeah? Why? He sits upright, wise eyed open, and goes, She's out there and flopped back down asleep. I held it for the rest of the night. LOL, I'd have done the same thing. My girlfriend will walk to a window and say, they're watching us, and just look at the street lamp. First time it was really creepy. Now I just say it's bedtime and lightly pull her back to bed before she stands up. If I was your girlfriend and I knew this happened, I would absolutely arrange some cardboard cutouts of creepy, shadowy figures out on the lawn. So when I got up saying, they are watching us, you would get out of bed and see them standing there. Honestly, if anyone wants to pull an elaborate prank, feel free to use that one. Story 12. My wife doesn't talk in her sleep, but I did wake up once to her sitting up, leaning over me, and staring at me paranormal activity style. It was terrifying, and she has no recollection of it. I woke up to my wife screaming the most horrifying, blood-curdling scream I'd ever heard. Something made her wake up, and in the faint moonlight that was seeping in through a gap in the curtains stood a small figure less than a foot from her face. It was our son wanting a drink, but he had decided to stand next to her head like a mannequin until noticed. Story 13. She started shaking me and yelling that the financial reports don't match. She's an accountant. I apparently did the same thing to my partner once while taking a financial management course at university, except I had also recently kayaked with dolphins. So not only was I stressing about financial reports in my sleep, but there were also reports for the dolphins. And from the sounds of it, the dolphins weren't happy. My dad used to have dreams about cranes when he was a crane operator. He would use my mom's arm as the controls for his crane dreams. Oh, I feel this as a fellow accountant. Story 14. Not 100% talking in her sleep story, but when my SO was stressed, she has dreams about spiders crawling everywhere. One night I was reading and she was asleep, then suddenly she sat up and stared at me. I asked her what's up. Significant other. The spiders. Me. What spiders? SO. There are spiders coming out of the poster. Me. There are no spiders. SO. Not the spiders. Me. Go back to sleep. Then she just collapsed back into her pillow back asleep. When she first sat up and stared at me, I thought this was suddenly a horror movie and I was dead. If my partner sits up in bed and starts talking about the spiders, then my response is to grab her, get our dogs, and run. I'm not effing around with any dream spiders. Story 15. I come in to go to bed, lay down, and am about to turn the bedside lamp off. Cue him, turning over, eyes still shut, obviously still asleep. Don't turn the light off. I'm confused now. Why? They need to see. Now I'm freaking out, wondering who is in our bedroom that I haven't noticed. Who needs to see? The bugs. Why do the bugs need to see? To read. This happened months ago and I still haven't let it go. I mean, it makes sense. You don't want to be responsible for undereducated bugs in your house, do you? Story 16. My girlfriend will do this every so often, but this one time she was having a really bad nightmare and she just straight up screamed at the top of her lungs right into my face. I woke up with an adrenaline rush that is still my closest guess for what C feels like. I woke her up by stroking her hair and whispering to her that it would be okay and she thanked me the next morning. Sorry, that must have been terrifying at the moment, but I can't stop laughing trying to visualize this scenario, haha. <laughs> Story 17. I thought she was awake, but we were lying in bed last week and this is how it went. Girlfriend. I'm gonna crap myself. Me. What? No, go to the bathroom. Girlfriend, ugh, I'm gonna crap the bed. <laughs> Me, why don't you just go to the bathroom if you've got a poop? Girlfriend, what? That doesn't make any sense at all. I'm trying to make these trees grow. Just shut up. This is when I realized she was sleeping and started laughing hysterically, which made her angry. She didn't remember any of it the next morning. <laughs> You know, eventually there's going to be an, uh, an outtakes compilation released, and uh, there's a good solid 30 seconds that I had to cut out from that one. I swear, I am an adult, but I could not get over. Ugh, I'm going to crap the bed. <laughs> Please leave your story in the comments. I would love to make a video on them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.